Today I'm in Silicon Valley, I'm at Jarvis Manufacturing, a company that started more or less 1959, kind of being purchased about 26, 27 years ago. I'm with this guy, Sam, super, super nice guy, also incredibly intelligent, one of the head people here at Jarvis Manufacturing, so I'm honored for the time to be here, and I'm honored to share Jarvis Manufacturing with you. Sam, I don't want to steal time from you. I know how no busy you are, sure. and I want to get to the point for the audience watching as well. Let's talk about Jarvis Manufacturing, the start, the growth, what we are today. So Jarvis Manufacturing, as you mentioned, uh, you know, it started in 1959, and the current owners bought it um, 26, 27 years ago. And that used to be uh, three manual bridge ports and a manual lathe. And, you know, from that, we have grown up to 27 CNC machines, multiple pallet pool, five axis machines, and uh, live tool lathes with, you know, big spindle, two turrets, and uh, just the growth over the years. And it has been great. And we've been s here in San Jose serving the Silicon Valley and uh, all over the United States since then. So let's jump into the deep end of the pool and get into what you make, how you make it, how it's supported. We're gonna head out to the machine shop in just a minute, but before we get there, I kinda wanna give you a little teaser to say this is what we do, this is the job shop we are, and this is who we can support. Sure, uh, we're a job shop and we support semiconductor, aerospace, oil field, uh, 3D printing, and uh, laser industry, automotive, pretty much everything that can fit into our machine. And if it's a material that we machine, we'll take it, we'll get it done for you. And you have a great history. You mentioned 1959. You mentioned uh, the current owners 26, 27 years ago. You mentioned the investment in technology, the growth of the machine. Sure. I just want to take this moment real quickly, and we're probably going to end on this note, too, as we're going to take you through the machine shop and then into quality control where we talk about precision and the importance of customer service. However, before we get there, as another little teaser, which is always uh -huh. fun to do, <laughs> You have customers that you've had for a long time, sure. and that goes into the quality of who and what Jarvis Machine is. Would you mind kind of describing the backbone of what Jarvis Machine is for the audience? Sure. Uh, we have had customers, uh, and we're working with them for over 20 plus years. And a couple of the customers, we have worked with them from where they were a five team uh, customers in their initial R&D phase, and they're right now they're a multi-billion dollar companies. And supporting the projects from the very beginning when they were little babies to, you know, having them seen go live on the, into the customer base into the world. And it, it has been a great journey for us, and we're happy to be a part of uh, all the machining industry, machining needs in the Silicon Valley. And we're actually going to talk more once we get to precision about customers who have outsourced overseas some products, but then came running right back. But stay tuned for that. Should we head out to the machine shop? Let's you go. know our audience loves machines. Sure. Let's do this. Let's do it, Sam. Yeah. Well, Sam, we made it out to the machine shop. And here I'd really like to focus because you mentioned three manual machines and a CNC growing right. to what it is today and the, the overall evolution of the machine shop. Where do you find the importance of investing in the latest and greatest technology for the customers that you serve? So, you know, given us being a job shop, we see pretty much every type of parts. Like it's not a same part, same designs all over, repeatable. And then oil field parts or exotic alloys, you know, heavy to cut material, semiconductor with the aluminum and everything. So having a different variety of parts and different needs, we have like machines that can go envelope up to 60 inches long and we also have five axis machines that can do full simultaneous five axis and up to 13 inch diameter with multiple pallet pools. We have uh, five axis uh, wireless uh, routers, we have five axis wireless uh, tombstones with on the our horizontal machines that we can machine parts of to various different needs and uh, you know supporting all different kind of needs. We have lathes that can do up to 14 inch diameter any type of uh, exotic alloys we machine um, in canal, MP35s, you know, all the harder materials. Would you like to talk about the expansion and the future mindset of Jarvis Manufacturing? Sure. Uh, we're heading towards automation. That's the, that's the future and that's where we're headed towards. And we've been heading towards that way in the past few years. We used to have all the vertical machines. We transitioned into five axes. We, then from there, soon after, we went into multi-pallet pool five axes and then we got into a bigger 5-axis multipallet, it keeps getting bigger and better. The reason is the repeatability, the precision, the amount of work it can handle and the, the workload, you know, we're ready. If somebody wants 10 parts by tomorrow, two days, we can do that. But if somebody wants 100,000 parts in a year, we can do that too. 
So having the space and the capabilities to do smaller jobs to a larger jobs and with the machine, so we're set up for everything. Perfectly said. And I know quality is important to you. I know customer service is important to you. You can't be around since 1959 <laughs> yeah. with much of the same customers. And as you said, why should them grow from babies to billion dollar companies right. without the right precision, without sure. the right customer service, without the right quality. So can we show off your precision room yeah, a little bit? Let's go, let's walk over there. All right, buddy, All right. appreciate you. Here at Jarvis Manufacturing, you have those long-term partners and you've invested in the technology to make sure that you can do that. So let's right. dive into what quality partnerships and service mean to you and Jarvis Manufacturing. So as you mentioned, I mean, quality and machining goes hand in hand. We have to, it's not about just making a part that looks like a photo, you know, by the next day, it has to check in all the box, it has to meet all the specs. And having uh, top class machines outside on, on the floor, Matsuras and everything, they allow us to do that. And we have our CMMs, we have optical CMMs that support all of our machining, all of our inspectors giving them feedback. So everything goes hand in hand and that is one of the key aspects. I mean, customers want the part right away, but if your quality acceptance levels are way lower, you know, you're not getting that job back. A lot of products over the last decade or two have been offshore. They've been sent out yes. to places where, in our heads, at least the initial price is going to be more cost effective. We are right. now finding out that there are mistakes, the mm -hmm. quality doesn't exist, right. the lead times, the communication, which is yeah. often important to working local as sure. well, and just in general, the, the back and forth ultimately becomes more expensive than doing something local for a little more upfront. Right. It's going to cost you more on the back end. Yeah. So would you mind sharing some of your experiences in this type of situation? And the reason I bring this up for the audience is because you have firsthand been a part of products that have been shipped overseas right. and then come right back just a few sure. months later because they're looking for the quality of a Jarvis manufacturer. Right. And, uh, you know, working with the customers locally or over here um, in the United States, we're we're here with them, we're supporting their engineering team from the DFM feedbacks or any changes. So they're willing to come in. They can they can come in anytime they want, visit the shop, see what their product, what stage it is at, and then, you know, having that uh, ability, having that the having the confidence to bring the engineers on to see where their product is and you know, kinda work with them to maintain that and machine that project. That's been a great big benefit we've been offering our customers. And uh, you know, long time. This is the this is the part where the customers like to stay with us. You know, we have good quality, we have good machines, and they try to send the cost, uh, complicated parts overseas. And for them to send it back to us to rework to be in spec, is just wastage time. You know, and we have automated machines where we're able to cut over costs, kind of compete with the customers' um, overseas prices. I mean, we can't match that, but you know, <laughs> so we're able to kind of compete with it. And uh, it, that's what has allowed our customers to stay with us, and we haven't given them a reason to leave us. And the quality overall acceptance levels for pretty much all of our customers were over 98%, 99% on most of them, and we are proud of that. As you should be. And a saying pops into my head, get it right the first time every time. That's it. And that's, that's what that's you what, guys do. That's what we do. strive for. Yeah. Well, you're doing a wonderful job. For everyone out there, if you're feeling overwhelmed or if you've received a job that might be too complicated or if you just need support, look at Jarvis Manufacturing. And I'm going to let Sam close this out with a website of where you can find him because this is one of those companies that... Well, to be fair, he's mentioned doesn't do a ton of marketing, and yet they are a diamond here in Silicon Valley that can truly support your manufacturing needs. Sam, where can we find out more about you? All right, we're, uh, we're, our website is www.jarvismfg.com, J-A-R-V-I-S-M-F-G.com. We're based in Silicon Valley, have been here since 1959. Thank you. Absolutely perfect. And again, thank you all for watching. We know how valuable your time is. And Sam, you, my friend, are incredible. Very well done. Thank you.